video we are going to look at how we can install SonarCube locally and how can we verify the quality of our code. So the first thing is to download the Java development kit. So let's head on to the Oracle website. So let's start downloading the installer. Alright, now that we have successfully downloaded the installer, now let's install the Java development kit. Click on next. Now here, just copy the location that we are going to install the JDK. So let's copy it. Alright, click on next. And now that the JDK is got installed. The next step is to set the global path. So open the start menu and search for advanced system settings. Click on environment variables and just double click on path. Now here we are going to add a new path and let's paste whatever we have copied from the JDK installer. Alright, now this is the path where the JDK installer resides. Click on OK. Click on OK. Alright. Now next we need to download the Sonar Cube. So let's head on to the Sonar Cube website. Click on download. And from here we can download the community edition. Now let's download the zip package. Alright. The next step is to unzip the binaries. Now let's place the zip into a proper folder. Let's create a folder here and we can name it sonar server. Let's place the zip over here and let's extract it. Now let's go to the bin folder. Now since I am using windows, let's go to the windows 32 or 64 bit folder and here we need to run the start sonar.bat file. So let's run the sonar bat locally. Alright, now it looks like the sonar server is running. Now if the windows defender firewall pops up, just click on allow. Alright, now it seems like the elastic search is running on 9001 port and sonar server is running on 900 port. So let's see whether the elastic server is running. So let's open a browser and go to 9001. So the elastic server is running over here. Let's head on to sonar cube on 9000 port. Now we are on the login page. Here we can use the default credential which is admin for both username and password. Click on login. Alright, now it will ask to change the password. So put the old password as admin and choose a new password. Alright, now that we have set up the sonar cube. Now let's set up a source code for our .NET application. Open the Visual Studio and create a new project. I'm going to name this project as Test Tab. Click on Next. Let's try to run the project. Alright, it's running. And here is the source code of our project. So the next step is to register our project on the sonar cube. So let's open the sonar cube and click on manually. Since our application name is test app, just put test app over here. Click on next. 
and here it's asking where to find the code so we can say locally and we can generate a token so put something like analyze the test app and generate a token all right now let's copy the token the next thing that we need to do is install the sonar scanner for c sharp so click on continue select dotnet select dotnet core the first command can install the sonar scanner for ms build now let's run this command so that it can install the sonar scanner tool globally all right now that we have installed the sonar scanner tool now let's go to the project and open a terminal over there and first run the first command now this command can generate few of the files which include some ms build dlls now let's create our first demo program that can print from 1 to 100 now let's intentionally put some bad coding practices over here let's create a test variable and let's not use it also let's create a try catch statement where we catch where we have the exception in ex and we are not using it as well as we are just simply throwing out the exception all right now let's run it so even though our program works the coding standard is very bad there are coding standard issues so now so now let's do a scan so just build it using the dotnet build command all right now let's scan it using the third command so let's copy the third command and execute Now as the scanning completes, we can see a report on the website. And it says the gate is passed, but we have 4 code smells. Let's go to the code tab, open the program.cs and here we can see where all our code smells are so here we are using a test but we are not using that variable so it's an unused variable here we are using an exception ex but we are not used the ex variable here we are simply throwing out the exception all right now let's accept the sonar curve suggestions and clean our code all right now that we have clean our code let's run it and it is running properly now let's scan it again and now we got an error and the error says line 5 is out of range but our program has only 4 lines this is happening because we are changing the code between the start and end commands so in order to run the test again we, we have to again run the 3 commands Alright, now we have no errors. Now let's go to the sonar cube again. Open it again. Now we have zero code smells. Alright. So this is the new code and this is the overall code. So let's see the graph. So here we have the four. So here we have four code smells as well as here we have zero. Alright. Now here is a tip. So instead of running three different commands, let's combine these three different commands into a single bad file. Open the root folder and create a new text file. And here let's paste all our three commands. And once we have all the three commands, let's save the file. Close it. 
and let's rename the file and change the extension from txt to bat so now that it becomes a bad file now let's change the code a little bit and add some code smells to simulate a bad coding practice Now instead of running the three commands, we can simply double click on this bad file when we need to generate a report. Let's get back into the Sonar dashboard. Now here it's not updated, so let's refresh our page. Alright. Now we got a test failure. Why? Because previously our test was success and now we are again making code smells. And here just go to the code and you can now find now find all our latest code over here with the corresponding issues so this is how we can install sonar cube locally and validate our code thank you so much